Midnight Ramen is a minimally edited, live recorded podcast that takes place at midnight. Although Michael may not be consuming food, it's time to get your bowls out. It's chow time. Welcome back to you. Break straps and insanity. Free ball and chills my enemy. Free from the things you say. It will all come back someday. Good evening, gamers and other folks alike. Let me actually bring this out a little bit because I just realized, oh, I was clipping. Isn't that fun? Uh,. You are listening to Midnight Ramen with Michael. Hope y'all are doing okay tonight. If you want to watch this live, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash Meltalurk Original, all one word, where you can watch not only this happen live, you can interact in the chat and do some other stuff as well. You can watch the after show, which happens at, where you can watch me edit this down, edit this exact the episode that you're watching if you happen to have, watch it live or the VOD of it. You can watch me edit it live. And just do some stuff afterwards and stuff that doesn't appear anywhere else. And once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. Something, something, something. But it's more of a privilege to go to Twitch because, yeah, you can watch it as it happens. Or watch the VOD. Watch it more uncut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but if you do miss it, during the window that's up on Twitch, you can go to my YouTube channel where I have not only the episode that you're probably actually not only this episode that you're listening to or watching, but every single episode since the beginning and every episode in the future, which is scary. But I, you know what? I have I'm now getting into the point where it's like I I need to prepare for. The inevitability that I'm put, putting in on other uh, platforms. And I still haven't done anything. <laughs> Get this. I haven't done jack shit. <laughs> I keep I keep pumping them. I'm going to do I'm going to do I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it. Don't get me wrong. But I have not done it. And right now is a good time to actually do it. Or to think about doing it. I'm, I'm st- it's still not going to be like super duper edited. But still. But on my YouTube channel, not only do you get to see the video of this, you know, trimmed down a little bit, but, and just edited a bit better, but you can watch some other videos that I put up on there. And I just put one out earlier in the week because I'm a freaking JoJo fan. I have like, I started doing one last month because I did like a speed edit of what I wanted to, of like a chapter recap, because like, I remember back in the day couple years ago i don't remember who would usually do it but some youtube channel did like some very i think i'm thinking about it back when i first really got on there's more like shockmeister that was doing like episode where episode of uh part five like meme like compilation stuff so i'm like fuck it Mm -hmm. (laughs) and that chapter that he did last month I'm like this is very memeable and so I'm like all right let's get into it and then after reading this latest chapter I'm like eh, there's something I can be get out of this but I can make it and I, I was more prepared this time around so I made a fucking I, I was so bored at work this week that I made a list of like per page of like things I wanted to do no joke and most of them are on here most of them on here made it into the video but like that that edit took me like i think the planning part of it plus the editing down i think i put a little bit more work into it but actually i started a little bit later now didn't i 
Yeah, I did. So I think the edit of it took like probably uh about like an hour less. It's about the same length of video. Let me let me actually take a look at the length of it. Make sure I got the tab muted. But I think it literally took me like an hour less to make. And yeah, it is like a fifth like less than two minute video. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. First one I did was like a minute. 26 seconds the one that i just put out a minute 51 two minutes <laughs> even though some of the a lot of the jokes do come back and are repeat jokes but they're good repeat jokes and i think uh the amount of work that i put into it definitely showed and yeah i was just so bored i'm like oh what I maybe mean, can i make on e i think I went too hard in the paint and thought like, oh, what if I made one for every single page? And I realized maybe that's not a good idea, but I did it in order. And now I have to, I may, it got me very self-conscious because the memes that I would do would be like, oh, let me interrupt the, the song that I'm, that's like running throughout the whole entire video with like a clip of something. It's like, well, I can't really do that you know, back to back. I can't do that. So it's like, oh, I do like video or for instance, like say a video clip meme, then do like, oh, panel moving, shifting, like panel shifting, make it look funny. And then have another chopper edit be like funny part of the bit. Add in like, say maybe a video, maybe like a tiny little, thing like aspect picture thing and uh an audio quote and then just kind of repeat the process and honestly but just like kind of keeping the mix together but i, I don't want to keep make it the same thing but also at the same point on the same line i don't want to be make like oh two of the exact same similar jokes but at the same time repetition can be funny Repetition can be funny you know what you're doing my stream on my end uh, kind of just like lagged up for a little bit. Weird. Uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. That actually makes me think because I live in Minnesota. One thing I wanted to do for the stream because I honestly, I'm not feeling super high energy today. Like, I'm drinking a Mountain Dew. I had a beer earlier. I was like, oh, I'll probably drink a beer for, for the episode. But I'm not feeling it, man. I'm not feeling it. And I, honestly, I kind of felt a little tired. I kind of felt a little tired going into this. So I'm like, well, I need a plan to actually get me through. Because I kind of have no idea what I want to talk about. And especially for the thing that when I was doing my radio show, the thing that sucked or the thing that gave me a little lean way is like, I had things to talk about. I structured it. So I had things to talk about and purposely talk about. And I was able to fill up that time. Usually, usually fill up that time between me talking and songs. And because I used, I always did like the station call and just some news things that took up mo a good chunk of it, like a good half, I would say. Like, I wish I didn't do all the new stuff looking back at it, but it is what it is. I don't know. <laughs> and th that's going to be one thing when I actually go into edit to make edits of the uh, the show is that my plan for it my and this is sidetracking to what i wanted to do but my plan for the edit of that show of midnight ramen the radio show is to it's all it's always going to air on the the fifth anniversary of the day that it premiered always going to be the fifth anniversary which if i have to look at when i did my first episode Mm. I don't know what days it would align with. Um, I think it would match up. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. 
because because it, it would technically was it was a Wednesday that I usually do. Yeah, it was Wednesday. And the, so I can't remember if it was Tuesday into Wednesday or Wednesday into Thursday that I do always do a show. And I think it was like Tuesday. Tuesday, I did the morning one. I did the morning show, the JoJo's Bizarre Radio. That's what I remember. But then Wednesday, yeah, okay, it was Wednesday. I th- I want to, yeah, Wednesday into Thursday is when I did the show. Yes. Yes. That has to be right. <laughs> that has to be right. Because there is no other explanation. That that would make sense, in my opinion. Um, But when I was doing the radio show... I, I would do a like a good chunk of it would be those you know new segments and it's gonna suck having like I'm probably gonna have the events in there maybe maybe the weather maybe but then uh but just only have it at the beginning and that's it and then just like have brief breaks in between talking sections so that way it goes like oh the time right now is 12 15 and then I'll, and then cut a lot of that stuff out and then go to cut a lot of that new stuff out and then go into me talking about something i know there is an a certain episode where i go from a news item into what i was talking about and i think in those situations i will like have that in uh but i don't know how i want to do it you know i am thinking out loud and doing a lot of the heavy work right now which is not good um that's beside the point what i wanted to talk about today what i wanted to talk about a little bit is i want to rank some 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 minnesota cities because like Gosh darn it! I, I I was I was uh scrolling through t- uh, was it TikTok or was it YouTube? I don't know. Whatever thing, and I you know a short you know vertical video, and they were like rank. They were drafting Minnesota cities, and all of them are like all clumped together. Like, oh, what's the best way to describe it? So if like West suburb cities. Mainly in the lower southern, western, southwestern suburbs. Like you have Chanhassen, Minnetonka, Shakopee, Lakeville. Like that sort of, it's like, you really, you're drafting those? Brother, come on. You got to do the whole state. Even though they did do the whole state because like one of them said like Duluth. Like five. And then... Weirdly, weirdly enough, Minneapolis is like picked like last in the video itself, which is crazy. We kind of funny though, kind of funny because you don't think that you don't they didn't think to do it until it's like oh okay, oops. But yeah, we're going we're we're going over to Google Maps, and I'm not doxing myself. I'm not gonna do it. I like legit had to clean out my uh search history so if you're if you're looking at this you you ain't seeing shit so let's uh, i mean we gotta go with minneapolis minneapolis i feel like there's a lot of stuff there's just a lot and even if you're going i don't know what you would want to call minneapolis proper because like a better because you have a lot of like areas and suburbs like Minnehaha Falls is part of it too but it's also its own thing like I don't know if you would count it it's so it's so strange you know so I think the city of Minneapolis proper I think just this general area I think it's fine if you know how to travel around there it's fine but Especially if there's construction, it sucks. But if you know how to get around, it's not too bad. The area itself, like, eh. 
I feel like once you get into like, once you get away from the high rises, then you start seeing a bit more, I don't want to say riffraff, but riffraff. Uh, but I mean, in, you know, in the, but like in this general vicinity right by the river, I feel like it's, it's just kind of eh, you know? It's like, it's whatever. This side of the north of uh, 94, in between 394 and 35W, I think like this section, even on the river too, like just across the river too, like it's it's okay, I guess. Like five out of ten, I don't know. Saint Paul, dude. I don't know what it is with Saint Paul, dude. Like, fucking ghost town. It's either a ghost town or a shit show. No in between. Because this is 35E, it's the practice highway, quote unquote. We're like, oh, student drivers like to go on that all the time. All the fucking time. Because it's slow, but you get like, you get a lot of interaction. The traffic on it sucks. And once you get, and, and like downtown St. Paul is either dead as hell or you do not want to be around there <laughs> kind of uh air like zones and it's also same like i feel like it's i feel minneapolis is better than saint paul in that respect but saint paul is a lot more quaint i don't know if that's what i want to say there but i feel like minneapolis is more connected than saint paul but saint paul is like Oh, you can go outside and walk a couple blocks. It'll be maybe a little warmer, but it's not as like intimidating. I feel like I'm going to give it around a five. I'll see. I saw the mall. The Minneapolis does have good restaurants though. But so, so does St. Paul. So does St. Paul. I think they do go band for band, and they are the Twin Cities. I think giving them fives is just fine. Because, yeah, you know? I don't want to go too crazy with it, but... Mm. Since I saw the mall, I saw the mall. mall. So Bloomington, there's a lot of... Okay, the thing I hate about the suburbs of the city, of the city is fucking blends together you don't know where where's where like technically you could say it's ritual but it's also bloomington bloomington itself if we're counting bloomington as a whole not bad not bad mall area it's mall area plus the airport stinky i love the mall but the traffic around this area sucks traffic around this area sucks Actually, hmm. yeah, traffic around this area sucks because it's the butterfly. The butterfly areas suck so bad, especially like the Mall of America's. This area is not easy to navigate. If you if you don't know where to go, you will you'll end up in the wrong place, going the wrong direction. Like I have stories like I have a infamous story that I could go on about how I missed an exit <laughs> and like I was I was like 20 minutes late for a horn lesson but that's like long story long story not for now but the, I think feel like the general area I like it I like it it's not bad it's not bad oh when you go into the 35w around this area oh. you go in this you go over here wait is it over here Am I thinking right? I think, I think I'm thinking right. Is this where the... Oh, yeah. Santiago. Ooh. Also, it has the... Uh, is this where the, the good... Uh... I can't remember if this is where the good... Um. Why am I, why am I blanking? The good... Uh... Oh, no. The, the apple... Is it, where the fuck is the Applebee's? Oh, yeah. The good Applebee's. On Flindale. 
If you know, you know. I don't. But like, that's the good Applebee's. <laughs> also, you can't go wrong with Applebee's. Fuck you if you think otherwise. Applebee's is good. I'll say it. I'll be brave. Bloomington, though. I'll give it a seven out, a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Because, like, yeah, all America's good. I feel like it's also a little big, but, like, Bloomington as a whole together, solid. Solid. Seven out of ten. Uh-huh. Let's move, let's move into a different area. You know what? Rochester, or as I like to call it, Crotchchester. It's good in areas, but when you're not anywhere near, if you're not near this, the the highway on uh, 14, or is it 63? 63, yeah, 63 slash 14, you're fucked. You're fucked. Or if you're not by the Mayo Clinic, kill yourself. <laughs> you might as well. Because, like, I don't know why it is, or why or how. I think, I, 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 like, there's a story about, like, oh, the Mayo Clinic sprung up because there was a huge tornado that ravaged through the area. That area is so hilly, hilly, or, like, full of hills, that I just don't get how, how the actual fuck they got a tornado that bad. But then again, St. Peter had that same situation to them in 1998. So. And it literally just like decimated the town. Uh, but that's besides the point. Rochester. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'll go out and say it. I am not a fan. But it does have some good restaurants and stuff and areas to be in. So I would say... Mm, I'll, I, want, I want to say a 4. A 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. I'm being, yeah, I'm being harsh, but it's the crotch of Minnesota. Is that fair? Yes. It's not in the region of where it would be, quote-unquote, the crotch. But I call it the crotch because of that's where it is. Uh, let's go to Matt. Oh, I mean, we're down here. We might as well talk about Mankato. Mankato? Okay. So, Mankato. Similar situation. Fucking big-ass major hill here. University, University of Mankato's there. De very decent shopping area around the east side. Uh, haven't really been on the, like, north or west side north of the river. I mean... It, I had not not a whole ton, but when you go across the river onto the east side, you know, stellar. I always remember going, having track meets probably around here on the East Mankato or Mankato East or whatever. Loved it. Good, good area. A lot. I like going there uh, for, for stuff. Not a bad area. But, going, okay, where is it on the university? I think it's, like, right around Stadium Road. Fuck that hill. Fuck that hill straight up. How? My brother in Christ, you're just going from, like, you know, you're going up a little hill, you know, and then it just, like, it, the, the drop is so steep. It's incredible how they haven't, how it hasn't. How a landslide hasn't happened. It's crazy. Herberts and Gerberts. I I haven't... Uh, okay, Herberts and Gerberts. Good. Good Herberts and Gerberts. But there's other places with Herberts and Gerberts. I'll say that. I'll say that. But at Mankato? No, I'll give it, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Um, Very hilly. But also at the same time, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff there, but it's it's a it's a college town, but it's a decently sized college town that like you don't need to go a whole ton of places uh, to really know. Let's go to 
Maple Grove, the food. Maple Grove has, I, if I'm not mistaken, Maple Maple Grove has like the most food restaurants. It's like the food capital of the Twin Cities. It has a shit ton of restaurants, mainly because of this, the shopping area center that is north of 94. Boom, like, like let, let's check this line. Let's look at this lineup. We got fucking Portillo's. We got a ba- Baggies? Yeah. They've been there. Uh, like, Redstone Grill. You got Olive Garden. I know there's a lot of other stores here that are not updated, but there's a lot of restaurants there. Sorry, this is more of a visual thing, but whoops. Uh, going down the... I'm just trying to see what they got. They got Olive Garden, like, Famous Dave's, Paris Baguette, Brick, Arby's. They got an Arby's. And it's a good shop, like shopping area. Golden Corral. Oh, yeah, that was a good Golden Corral. I love that one. Um, I know they have an Applebee's somewhere. <laughs> there it is. There's the Applebee's. Uh, but yeah, they have a lot of food choices around there. You got Chick fil A. <laughs> So, and they also do like the, they do the chalk, the chalk, um, sidewalk chalk festival in this area. So honestly, and I know one of the bandmates from, technically he's from Osseo, but he's also not. So one of the bandmates from Gradients is from this area. I don't give it the benefit of the doubt. It's good. And I've been to his home or one of his parents' homes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which. But beautiful area, nice place to be. I you know, I'll, I'll give it I'll give us an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I love it. I love it. Uh, just for that. Uh, Fridley. I have family in Fridley. I have family in Fridley. Oh no, I'm technically family in Blaine see because like this area is where I have like I have family in that area Spring Lake I th- wait what Spring Lake Park oh St. Louis Park okay I always get the two confused I always get the two confused I don't get why I have family in this area so I'm a little bit biased uh, where where is the damn I can't find it all oh, the Menards love the Menards yeah but actually not a not a good Canes I'm gonna say it bad Canes like even my my uh my grandpa who passed away few like in 2020 he even said that was a bad Canes. <laughs> Like, that's saying something. Uh, and he... I love Canes. Uh, you, but you have a lot of good stuff around here. I, But... Mm, but it does have the Schwann Center. It does have the Schwann Center. And a shit ton of soccer fields. Oh, they changed the name of it, though, didn't they? They did? Hmm? In my heart, it's still the Schwann Center. This is where they have a lot of uh, soccer events happen, like every year. All like all of these fields, all the fields, like in this, there's a shit ton of fields. Like I could count at least twenty, thirty, all full of like kids playing soccer, different ages of people playing soccer. No joke. Bowl every single year. Uh, and like you, it's hard to get around solely because of that. But also, you have a, I think you have a stop from the PJ Tour in uh, this, in just north of it, too. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. But, eh, eh, but also in the area, it's, I don't know if it's in Blaine, I don't know if it's Spring Lake Park. I don't really know, but the water is weird. Water is a little weird. <laughs> and my grandpa, who was 
very wise, made sure I don't they were treating uh telephone poles where they had like water refineries or whatever whatever near the water or something that they were going to use for their town. And he's like, "Yeah, we're not drinking the water. Like do not drink he told his sons, do not drink the water. I mean, obviously bathe, but, you know, they would get filters and, you know, boil water just to make, to avoid because it was tra- treated, the telephone poles uh, were treated with arsenic and lead. Radioactive and poisonous. So, yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think the water is that good there. Uh, and of course, like you have a lot of people dying at the age of 50 because of it. So I, I'll give a little bit down there. Three. Maybe two. I do like the Blaine. Blaine, though, I'll give it four. No disrespect to my family. Coon Rapids. Yeah. Coon Rapids is good. Coon Rapids is good. Especially like the shopping area center. I will give that a... Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Very sloppy. Downtown drag. Pristine. But the the, the layout just is so very sloppy. It's very sloppy. The main main street drag though. Mm, spectacular. Spectacular. Even for for a town of that size, too. Amazing. Uh you know what? Let's open up some magic packs. I, I feel like I've gone on this bit for a little bit but i i want to take a breather take a breather and go to some magic packs because i need to open some magic cards i haven't opened some magic cards i'll tell you what i'll make them quick but i was like oh i'll open some cards just for shits and giggles you know off stream just one pack just one pack two i think it was two packs just off stream so last stream i pulled a ma uh maha in like the art stuff in the alt art style yeah i pulled another one from the same box but you know just a regular art on it i'm just like son of a bitch i could open that on stream but we still have three packs here we're gonna open them let's see i don't know if we're gonna get anything <laughs> like i probably wasted my luck on that but this box has been hitting very well Yep, and this is one of the, this is the box that I got from my uh, usual place that that I get it from that I get my stream boxes from. So that does add up. Like I don't care if I have to pay a little bit more for the ones that I get there. Yeah, I do paper markup, and it's not good. I mean, not like absurd, but the pulls I always get from their boxes are ungodly always ungodly i've n- never had a bad box like i've had eh, okay boxes but like i had had some incredibly good pulls from their their stuff from their the boxes i got from that store so like i have to i have to i feel like right left center Three, two, one, right there. Pack flip, pack trick. Uh, we got a downwind ambusher, splash portal, veteran, retrieve rod, the might of the meek, psych wheel. This feller, an otter, a, a, a rat, rat squirrel. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. The art card is, ooh, is it Bruna? Braze, Braze, Beza. Uh, we got a foil cliff top lookout. We got a montaña. And we got a paw patch recruit for the rare. And a season uh, warren card. Oh, and an Ocala village. Very cool. Very cool. Three, two, one, flip. 
Hoarder's Overflow, Otterball Antics, Rep. Oh no. Oh! <gasps> Keeper's Talent! Let's fucking go! Oh, oh yeah, let's go! Okay, yep. Yep, I wanted this. That's like a, tw fuck, a $20 card, easy? Like, it's good. It's part of the meta deck. The standard meta deck. I will look it up afterwards, because, like, I do not know. It's either 20 or 60 bucks. I don't know. It's one of the numbers. Last time I checked. 3, 2, 1, flip. Lilypad Village. Brazen Collector. This is pack three, because I fucked up on the other one. But it was a good fuck up. Cinderling Cutthroat, Hidden Grotto, Mind Spiral, have Art Card, Intrepid Rabbit, Intrepid, Teapot Slinger, ooh, Foil, for it, Plange, Dark Star Arger for the Alt Art, hmm, interesting. Offspring of a black at the beginning of your upkeep. Flying at the beginning of your upkeep. Reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. You lose life. Oh, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Hmm. Huh. Okay, cool. And then Gossip's Talent. What kind of packs have art cards? Well, the... The, the like token, it's in place of the tokens, they sometimes occur, sometimes they don't. Um, it just depends on the packs. I think like all of them do. Like, depend sometimes it's a token, sometimes it's the art card. Like in the first pack, I got the like this. Sometimes you get this, but it, it, it's it's just a token. It doesn't really mean anything, but it, it, it has art. It has art on it. It's really cool, though. There's nothing really deep into it, though. Uh, but, like, alt arts and different things like that, if you're talking about that, you have better chances of that in uh, collector boosters. Because now there's play boosters, which are just, like, the standard packs. But then, uh, alternate, alternate art, you know, foil, whatever, typically better in, uh, collector boosters. And now there's like, what? I can't remember what the term is. I'm just going to call them shit boosters. Or is it just, maybe you might get a rare mythic, but odds are you're probably not. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're going to love this one. You're going to love what I just pulled. Innkeeper's talent. <laughs> I'm checking what the price of it is because, uh, because, uh, I think that's what, a $20 card? Uh, let me just look real quick because I do not know. Oh, yeah, duh. I could just do this. Uh, view all. Innkeeper's Talent. Yeah, 25 bucks. 25 bucks on Card Kingdom. Yeah. Very cool card. Uh, oh, I never even explained it for the audio listeners. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control, and then you level it up for a green. Permanents you control with counters have ward one um have ward one and then you level it up you can level it up again for three and a green and level three says if you were to put one or more counters on a permanent or player put twice that many counter twice that many on of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead it's broken broken keep it for myself so i might get another one what do you mean by that what do you mean by that? I think the best value, the best value 
right now is to order is to get to like get the most bang for your buck is to get oh, set boosters of wilds of eldraine why because of the bonus sheet the bonus sheet is actually fucking broken like there's some good cards in there just naturally but now you ha you have rustic study you have smothering tithe you have doubling season parallel lives like all of those cards are worth at least 20 30 bucks each better commander masters than commander masters like legit like no like kind of no joke uh but yeah but let's get back onto this yeah uh, we're ranking some towns we're ranking some towns uh you know let's go up the uh Let's go up the 94 route. Oh, it's Clearwater. I always get Clearwater and Stillwater mixed up. I love Clearwater. I'm just going to say it. Um, just like this area here. Mm. The the gat, the travel plaza. Ooh. Ooh. Always got to stop there. If I can and if I have to, I'll stop there. If I can and have to. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> or in this area, at least. Big ass donut. Uh, not a whole lot here that I've, I've really seen or whatever, but like, I mean, small town? Hell yeah. I'll give it a... I'll give it a... Uh, I'll give it a six. For small town, six. As opposed to like, a big city, you know, big city, whatever. Uh... St. Cloud, I'm giving it a two. Straight up two. Maybe a one. I've had nothing but bad experiences in St. Cloud. Fuck St. Cloud. It's I call it the void because you go in there and like it's like a, you've entered another fucking world. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I had my car break down or like on this corner, on this intersection alone, or exit, uh, 75, or what, what, what would be the exit name? Or where you would turn off on the, uh, 75. I've had several, several instances of, uh, my car of bad things happening to me on this, this overpass. Fuck this place. Like, fuck that. Like, that's a bad sign there. And when I had my car break down, it just felt weird to be there. And I've been there a couple of times before. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's fine. But, like, just the number of times, like, even while I'm in St. Cloud, it's just so fucking weird. Like, no offense to anyone that lives there, but also offense to people that live there. It's so weird. Like, and you don't know it, but it's just a vibe. It's a vibe. And I'm giving this a big city, big city two out of 10. And it also claims Collegeville and all that area. So fuck off, dude. Like, seriously, piss off. You, you don't own this. It's like a fair distance away. It's like a 10 minute drive to get to St. John's. Dude, shut up. Sock Center, decent. Hey, um, Sock Center is another en exit. I'd say it's a lesser version of Alexandria because I love Alexandria. I'll get I'll get to that in a minute. Oh, well, um, Sock Center. Ugh. I'm feeling. I'm feeling a five, a five, because for Sock Center. Like, you could exit here, but you'll be mistaken that, oh, it's definitely Alexandria, but it's not. It clearly isn't. But the amount of, like, billboards in Sox Center is hilarious. Like, actually comical. Like, this, the whole section, right, uh, past, like, the main road off the highway, like, past 71, all of this... It's like f billboards, billboard, billboard, billboard. I love it. <laughs> I love it, actually. 
It's funny. Um, but then the next big exit is Alexandria. I personally like Alexandria, the town, uh, because this the like this whole section is amazing. Love it. I've really been to a lot of the other places, but just them. I like the vibe of Alexandria. I like the vibe. It's like you're halfway. I feel it's like the halfway in between. When I was driving from school and home, I felt like Alexandria's like, it's not the halfway point. I feel like Sock Center would technically be the halfway point for me. But I felt like Alexandria was more like the halfway point. Because like, the the 100 miles that it gets from Alexandria to, to the border, it's not a bad drive. It just feels a lot longer than it is. And every, like, once you get, like, once you go east of Alexandria, everything east of Alexandria feels like you blaze through it all the way to the cities. It's like, huh? I'm here now? Really? Okay. I guess. But, like, the hundred miles past Alexandria just feels like, man, I wish I was out the next blank already. Uh, but Fergus Falls, I can't really speak much for Fergus Falls. I have not exited the entire time that I've been. Oh, I haven't given Alexandria. Uh, I'll give Alexandria small town 8 out of 10. If I were to give it a big city, I'd give it a 4 out of 10. Big city, 4 out of 10. Small city, uh, 8 out of 10. Because it falls in the middle. It's not bad. Fergus Falls. I have not once exited into Fergus Falls. Not that I... Not to be offensive to him. It's just like, I just don't. I don't. I don't find a need for it. And plus the cops here. Absolutely. There's so many cops that line the just south of it. Of Fergus Falls, and even okay, even okay, you know what? Even for Alexandria, there's a shit ton of cops there, so I'll bring, knock it down to a seven. I'll knock it down to a seven because there are so many cops around that area, and it's a training zone for state troopers. So it's like I I will knock it down to a seven out of ten because of that small town, seven out of ten. Not enough that I would say for big city. If it were a big city, it would be knocked down. But for a small town, it's enough to, to kill it. Fergus Falls, I can't really say much. So I kind of give it an undefined. But from the vibes that I get from it, I, I give it the benefit of the doubt. The The view that you would have of the river, of the river here, amazing. If, you're, if you have a house nearby, oh, amazing. It looks so pretty. Uh, but I can't really speak for much of it, so I honestly, I'll give it a, I'll give it a benefit of the doubt, though. I'll give it a five out of ten. Five out of ten. It can go up, it can go down. That's just the what I get from it. It's not bad. It's not great. Rod say the last stop before we get into Fargo Moorhead, and I'm not trying to glaze Fargo Moorhead, but. Smile my mater. So I gotta. <laughs> so I gotta. Um, Rod say is nothing without the prairie chicken. The prairie chicken statue. I'll go on and say it. I always. It's a family. It's a family tradition. But it's also just a great landmark. Just to go see the prairie chicken. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of birds. I, but. God damn. It is a fucking symbol of freedom. Like, God damn. You, you see the prairie chicken? You know. You know. You just know. And if you don't know, you don't. But if you know, you know. But, eh, as a town, I give it a 4 out of 10. I know I know people from it, though. So, And, I haven't been, and it's hard for me to even really give a number to that. Especially, I feel like it's definitely a smaller town, but I'm I'm giving it a four out of ten, just because eh, 
but it is like the last if you have to to go to the bathroom let's just say and you're driving 36 miles up north that is your last stop but if you get if you drive past it well, good luck cuz uh uh hmm it's a bit of a drive and we're not going past this freaking river here so Moorhead. I can't say anything for, for Duluth because I have not been there and any of the ones any of the ones in this direction I can't say shit for. The vibe I will say for Detroit Lakes it is basically the oh let's go to have a trip to Detroit Lakes it's basically the day trip sort of place for the Fargo-Moorhead people. So I will give it and they have a, a lot of good lakes a lot of good lakes uh I will say, and it looks, it's pretty too. God damn. I'll give it an, a good seven out of 10. Good seven out of 10. Uh, Morehead though, ah, like there's some sketchy areas. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be brutally honest. Some sketchy areas. Definitely. Uh, some stuff is beat down. Okay, the one quarrel I definitely have when I was living there, no fucking AC. In the summer, it's so fucking hot. In the dorms, they did not have AC. Unless if you were, like, in the halls. Like, you had to open up your windows and shit, so you had to get your own AC unit if you really, really, really wanted to stay, you know, cool. But it wasn't necessary. But it's not necessary. But if you want to stay cool, that's the way that you do it. Uh, but that said, that said, man, I love the town. The town is just, it's quaint. The drag is so cool. The trains, tra if you like trains, oh, you're, you'll love it. They are very loud, but they're not like, I have been woken up living in this area by trains in the middle of the night. I have not been woken up by trains living by Hornbachers. Like almost like half a, like a quarter mile, quarter to half a mile closer to the train tracks. Weird, actually weird, but that's physics. Cause like it was also a straight path. So mm, makes sense. Also, this road is, like, super clear. So, like, at night, sound travels very well. Like, where I w was living is fine. Also, this McDonald's. Oh, what's here? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Urban Gerbert. Fucking love their PB&Js. Goddamn. Love their PB&Js. Our PB&J sandwiches. They also had just good sandwiches in general. So, hell yeah, bruh. Yamka Center. I know I probably mispronounced that. Beautiful. The dead at the literal dead mall. The corpse of a mall just living there. Crazy. That honestly feels like it would knock down points. But also at the same time, that's where City Hall is. <laughs> no joke. And they just put it in the dead corpse. It's like it's like nowhere in Gardens of the Galaxy. It's literally nowhere. <laughs> it's, but it's it's got some cool stuff. Um, but I'll take it. I love. I'll, I'll glaze it, but like within the mile, two mile strip from here, from the river to the highway right here. Perfect. Everything perfect. Love it. Even though uh, south side, eh, it's it's fine. It's fine. Not the best, but honestly, I would say it's, it's, I love the area, but I would give it, it's also the, the, I want to say it's the parasite of Fargo. It's the parasite of Fargo. I'm giving it a six out of 10, just flat out six out of 10, because I feel like it, 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 it could go either way. You could say it's a small town, but you could also say it's the big city, but I give it a six out of 10. I like the area. The culture, the amount of people, the amount of stuff there. I, I could say a lot about it. So, 
I just love the area. Man, god damn. And plus, then you got Dilworth basically attached onto it. And then you got fucking Glendon. Yeah, Glendon basically like, Hey guys, I'm here too. <laughs> yeah. But my last rating for Duluth, again, I haven't been there, but I know it's super incredibly hilly. You're also next to the fucking biggest fucking lake. You're next to the biggest fucking lake. I don't know why you would want to do that in a super hilly area next to a big body of water. That just spells for trouble to me. That just spells trouble. I don't know. That's just me. I would say... Just based on vibes, it's pretty, it's scenic, it's got a lot of good views, but like, based on principle, it's very incredibly hilly, and and that sort of stuff, I, I give it, I want to give it a 4 out of 10, big city, 4 out of 10. That's Wisconsin? Oh yeah, I guess it is. Oh yeah, Superior, yeah, duh. Yeah. I give it a 4 out of 10. But, yeah. But I, that's enough ranking. That's enough ranking. I need to stop. I need to wrap up the show soon. But, yeah. I, I want to check if there's anything that I want to... Bemidji, never been there. Although my roommate from, from college, he's from Bemidji. He's from Bemidji. Where's the brain? Yeah, Bemidji. Brainerd. Brainerd can suck my fucking dick. They are so high on their own supply. Because they're like a lot of the. Because if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's like how Fargo was based off of a true story, quote unquote, even though it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> they have the, the Paul Bunyan statue, and that's the one thing they have. <laughs> And that's the one thing they fucking have, and they just stick with it, and they think they're the t- they're the the shiniest shit in the bucket. But I know people from there, but also at the same time, it, it's like how people in Fargo say, like, "Oh, Fargo takes place in Fargo." No, it doesn't. It takes place in Minneapolis most of the time. Most of the time. Most of the time. Literally, the only. S- scene technically that happens in Fargo is the beginning the movie Fargo and even then the bar I'm pretty sure is not in Fargo it's in Moorhead (laughs) womp womp dumbass checkmate and then even the, the like the wood chipper scene that's in Brainerd or some shit I don't fucking know but a lot of the filming of Fargo again was in Minneapolis in that area. I know where the the, the where they f- found the guy the the main guy that made the deal, the like that father or whatever. The scene where he was like caught in the motel or hotel or whatever, I know where that is. I know exactly where that is because it's like it's by the river in Shakopee. Just north of the river in Chocopee. If you were to go to Lion's Tap, it's on the right. It's right there. It's not far. But yeah. But I think we should wrap this up. Um, even probably in the after show, we've ranked some more t- towns, I guess. But I have a plan for that already as well. So we'll see if there's time. So, uh, thank you for listening and watching, doing what you're doing, all that. Oh, wait, I didn't even get to the... So, if you want to watch this live, you can go to twitch.tv slash mental original. You can watch not only this, but you can watch the after show where I even go into more stuff and have some funny antics while I edit the uh, the, the podcast. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and all that stuff. And you get to interact and chat and cool. But if you miss it, that's fine. It's up for two weeks. Whatever. But once it's gone, it's gone. But the edited video that I make during the after show 
is on my YouTube channel and eventually will be on other things as well. That, excuse me, that is on my YouTube channel and you can watch everything, everything else it is edited down just slightly or edited just period. And you can watch every single one, every single one on there, as well as other videos that I post on that, on my YouTube channel, which, uh, yeah, see, hopefully we're doing good on there. Uh, but, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's it with that. Thank you to Gradients for the use of their song, Used to It, off of the On The Call. I know they are finishing up on some of their songs, or getting close to being finished on at least a few. They just put out one of their... I don't know if it was like more of an archival thing or if they just put it up, but they put out a music video for one of the song uh, for their title song. Well, it's not title. Let me actually check because I don't know if it's their title one or if it's uh, their. I gotta check. I actually do have to check. Uh, yeah, it is the one um, that has the lyrics that are there for their the title of the album, The Call. It has that in there. Which is weirdly not the uh, the name of the song. It's False Gods. It's an archived music video. And they put that out literally seven days ago. But yeah, it's... I, I, yeah, I did talk about it yes last week, I, I believe. Yeah, I did. But that's out there. Um, I feel like they are going to be putting up more soon, or putting up more stuff soon, so be ready for that. And yeah. But as I look at the time, and thank you guys for listening, watching, doing what you do, and all that other stuff. But as I look at the time, it's not midnight here anymore, but it's midnight somewhere else. So until it becomes midnight here once again, I will catch you later. But until then, until then, bye bye <laughs>